Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back. We're going to go into the second round of the Corn Ferry Tour. We um, went round in the first round in par. First time we've done that. Now we've got to improve upon that. We've got to go under par by at least two under par. Current position, 111th. Wind speed is three to five miles per hour. Um, first cut firmness, everything is firm or medium. So we're underpowered. Our driving is not good enough. Our approach is pretty good. Our short game is pretty good. Our putting, we're well off the putting level. So it's going to be very difficult. But um, I feel like we're knocking on the door of going around in under par. Um, I'm following on straight on from my last episode because uh, we're in a bit of a good rhythm there. and. Um, I'm torn. I feel I feel a bit tired because <laughs> it is a hard game. Um, but I also feel like perhaps if we're going to do under par, I should try and use the knowledge that I've got now. EA the best Sports advantage. And the PGA Tour are proud to bring you this showcase of the best young players in the world of golf. From Arnie's Place, Bay Hill Club and Lodge in Orlando, today it's second round coverage of Q School. But if we see more of what we witnessed yesterday, we're in for a heck of a battle these next three days as we show you the current leaderboard here on this Friday. A lot of folks fighting for the title, including our leader. Right, this is a bit of a gamble shot. This could go horribly wrong. Because the angle wants me to go down diagonally to the right, I'm going to try and hit it straight and see if that pulls it left. This is a real gamble. It did pull it left, but way more than it it's meant to. It. That could be OB. Just need to settle down, relax on okay. this next shot after going out of bounds. Wow. The amount of time somebody splits the fairway after hitting one out of bounds is astronomical so playing the third shot right now after having gone ob so i've really cost myself there what a okay, this one gonna what stay a silly time to practice something like that. that it's in the fairway what an imbecile shot to choice. What do you need to watch out for here, Frank? Those two front bunkers, Rich, the one that protects the left and the right. Uh, more often than not, you want to pitch the ball on the front of this green. The other two to be concerned about. Oh, not the best shot in the world. Outstanding strike right there, right off the center of the club face, and a good chance for birdie. This looks like it's breaking left, but it doesn't say it is, which is a little bit concerning. I'm going to go 16 feet and under hit it. Nice. Okay, good putt there, but it is a bogey here at one, and that won't help the cause one bit. I had to do that test because it was on that hole that I did it last time. And I just, I was so curious. Right, so what did we do last time? We went four iron and it fell short. So we'll go three iron, high. Look where it is. a gamble oh what oh I forgot to put the angle on it I forgot to pull back to the left and that one not on the green but not in a terrible spot either sitting up in the short grass Oh, that's gone very left. Whoa. 
Why did that go so far left? Right about nine feet here to the hole. Which way is that breaking? I have absolutely no idea. Oh! Oh, that was right on the precipice of going down. But I do believe it's going to stay out. Okay, that's going to be finished off for his bogey. And that's going to drop him down the leaderboard just a bit. That is not the start we wanted. At all. Beautiful tempo to that swing, and this is going to wind up squarely in the fairway. Second shot coming up. Let's check in for the first time with Notavigay the third. 150 left to the hole. Pin sitting back right. Oh, that's really come far to the right, isn't it? Bloody hell. Ah, good shot. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. That's definitely breaking left. It's downhill. Oh! <laughs> Pretty good line, very close to going in. So that safely in, it's a par here at the third. And he'll remain right where he is. Get a bit of, bit of good luck. No. Ah, didn't come out oh, far enough across. Right. That's going to need to hold on. Don't you dare! Yeah, that is into this sliver of a creek that runs up the fairway, and that is going to cost a shot. So he'll take the drop and now go about trying to somehow save par. And this will be his third to the par five. That's horrible, man. Really nasty. So much for keeping the rhythm going, hey? There's not a particularly good shot that I've got here. Good and straight. Will it sit? Will it reach? It doesn't even reach. Oh, this is not the start we were looking for. Easily another shot missed. Drops, rather. Wow. And that's what these greens can do to you. They make you see things that just aren't there. And that one slides by. Okay, finished off there for double bogey. And that's going to move him back to four over. I need six birdies now. 
to stay in this. I cannot believe I have put myself in that position. So nearly reached that, don't we? This is why you practice these shots from under 100 yards. You've bombed your drive. Now it's time for the touch shot. Zip one in there close. Here we go. That's a good shot, and more importantly, too, a green in regulation, so birdie chance. Oh, wow, that broke so hard. Mm, good effort, but that'll run two, three feet past the hole. Okay, that one finished off, four a par. And he'll remain at plus four. They've got to give us the ground level camera. Absolutely killing me. Beautiful shot. Ah, that challenged a big piece of that big lake, but it is well down this sixth fairway. What a gorgeous tee shot. Massively overhits it. Oh, goodness me. Almost a great shot. Just missed it a fraction to the right of this green here at par five. Yeah, a bit of chip and a putt. Still make four. Okay, that came out very far left, as I would expect, considering the lie. Now this, for birdie. And if you've ever used a putting mat as a holiday gift, this is the putt. Slightly up a hill and dead straight. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, yes. Plenty of pace to get up that slope. It is in for a birdie. And hopefully that can jumpstart the round because it's going to take a good one to overcome yesterday's performance and make it through to the weekend. Wow, that's really gone. Whoa! Uh, a bit of a misfire there. That is well off target to the right of this par three. So we could get a finesse here. That would be lovely if we could get a finesse there. I would take that. How's that for a recovery shot? Put a birdie on the card here yesterday, don't forget. Eight foot putt here. It's downhill. Yep, well done. That's in for par here at seven. And he'll hold steady at plus three. Did I get a birdie there last time? I don't remember that, for being honest. A little bit right. This one working up the right side. Ooh, got lucky. Oh, he gets a little lucky there and even bounces back into the fairway. 174 yards remaining here as he'll play his second. Going a little bit left. 
It, no, it didn't sit properly. Well, too bad, Frank. That one rolled right off the green. It was just coming out so hot. Oh! Could have really done with that. And that's not exactly ideal. Far from a tap-in for his par. You're being too kind. Uh, that's not at all ideal. Look, it's breaking left. Uphill. Whoa, take okay. it, take it and run. There. It is a par here at the eighth. And he'll stay right where he is. Some bloody work to do here, haven't I? Good Lord. Just what you want at this point in the round. You're trying to find a rhythm, hit fairways, hit the middle of the club face. That's what they did right there. Good shot. I like it. Could be a good one. Rich, is that eight or nine feet? I don't know about that, but it is a great approach shot. Eight feet now for birdie. No! Where was the break? There didn't look like there was any break there. I did also catch my finger on a controller. Which didn't help matters. Yeah, that's a good putt. It's in for par here at the ninth. Ah. And that will make this a 3 over 39 on this front side. That's a terrible miss, that one. That's really, really bad news. That'll do. Drop the power. Perfect shot. Really nice. Now that shot was from the top draw. Second shot straight ahead, and we go to Iona Steven. He's got 122 yards. We'll get you to the front of the green, but it's 132 if you're going to go for the flag. Pin, front right. It's a sneaky one. Not bad. Oh, I always knew that was going to be a good shot when it left the club face. What's that? Eight or nine feet? Excellent shot. No idea which way it's breaking. I really can't tell. Let's try and not go past it. Oh! Just give me the camera so I could see where the, five feet left. the land lies, as it were. No! That looked like it was in. Oh no, I thought that was in for sure. Just a little jag right at the end, gonna leave it on the lip. Okay, that one in for a bogey here at 10. And that won't help the cause one bit. Is it too much now? Have I given myself too much to do? Ah, uh, you can't drive it much better than that. That's the quick pickup of the tee, right down the middle. Breeze at his back shoulder as he lines up his second from the fairway. Oh, come on, be good. Be really good. Oh, just the strike. The sound of it. And the ball does the rest. Great shot. Putters let him down a few times, but this for birdie. 
All right. Okay, that ball online all the way. It's a birdie here at 11. And he'll try and fight back as that scores back to three over par. Pretty nice. Pretty that nice. will do just fine. Do you think, do you think it's possible I could hit the green from here? Thread in the needle though. No, nope, it's gone too far right. Not my usual of ending up in the sand bank. Two solid shots at the par five and found the green side bunker. Lie looks good. Now, just needed a good bunker shot. Oh, wow, that wasn't it. Well, this one out of the bunker, that is a positive development, but not on the green. It's in the short grass. It's uphill and it's breaking which way? It's blue to the left, it's blue to the right. I'm going to say it's left a bit. How uphill is it? Quite a bit uphill. Go on, be nice to me. Uh, <laughs> oh, just needed a little bit more, but that was beautifully judged from off the green. A very good roll. I'm lucky. That one safely in. It's a par here at 12. And he'll remain right where he is. Oh dear. The strategy for the three wood leaves a full iron shot into this green. <laughs> Second <clears throat> shot now. It has to be careful because that breeze can be tricky at his back. You don't want to over club. Well, I don't have my tape measure out, but that looks like, oh, what, six, seven feet in there, but that is an excellent approach shot. Oh. Mm, confidently done there. That's in for birdie here at 13. That nearly slipped past and, with that, and off down the hill. To two over. Need four more par threes, uh, birdies rather. Not going to sit, is it? In reach. And that one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. in for par and he'll remain at two over par never needed an eagle or an albatross so much two over come on
Yeah, nothing a fault there. Good balance, good follow through, and a good start to this hole. Now the approach shot, par four, 15th hole. Frank, break it down. Green narrows up uh, the further back you go, so the most generous place to land the ball is in the front half of this green. Well, it's, it's also the very left section of the green. Wow, why has it gone so far? That was such a crap shot. That's got to be disappointing. Good line, the fairway, and the approach winds up in the bunker. such a crap shot I'm so annoyed that wasn't much better yeah that was going to be tough to fly that all the way to the hole out of the bunker and this is going to come up a good bit short Uh. Okay, a bogey here at the 15th. And he'll slide back now to three over par. I need an eagle. How can I get an eagle off this shot? I'm going to have to risk it and really try and punch down through here so I've got enough club to reach the second bit that's a good start quite 300 yards I don't think oh 312 okay nice we'll take that well within range from here a second now to the par five Desperately need this to work out well. Eight iron with extra power and it could be, could be far enough, but it's a hell of a gamble. Finesse shot, much better idea. Six iron, that could be good. Seven iron, a massive gamble. The wind is not taking it enough. Okay, job well done, Frank. You know when you play this hole, you're playing it like a par four, even though it's a par five. You need to be home in two. You certainly do, Rich. This hole isn't as long as some par fives, but when you consider water and play here, water and play at 17 and 18, this is a key shot. Oh, so unlucky. Well, touch right there. I'm so close to being an eagle. Well played there. I want to put us one over. 16. We'll put a little pep in your step. Can't do it now. Cannot see any any way of doing it now. The idea was good. And that is going to be safe, but it's short and into that long right side bunker here at 17. Mm. 
Yeah, that was going to be tough to fly that all the way to the hole out of the bunker, and this is going to come up a good bit short. All right. Oh, yeah, worth an exhale there. That's a good par save here at 17. We're not going to make it. We're not going to do it. Right where he is. Even if I get a fantastic par here. A birdie here, even. It's 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 game over. No problems there. That's going to wind up safely in the fairway. Ah, good shot. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. This from about 10 feet. Ah, I broke the other way. Oh, no. Ah. He's about ready to walk that in. That looked on target the whole way. Two over. One of which was an out of bounds that I. I... So Wasted. a bit of a letdown here at 18, but it is a par. And that will be a 74 for this second round. So two that's over where par. this tourney will end for our featured golfer. Ah. Their two-round score falling outside the cut line. And if you focus on anything other than that, then you're doing yourself a disservice. It happens. Believe me. Move on. So that's a wrap for all of us at EA Sports PGA Tour. Thanks for coming along. We'll see you next time on the road to the Masters. Yeah, thank you, guys. Uh, in my head, I put that down as a one over par. I don't think one over par would have got us into the cut anyway. But um, what a stupid experiment to do. And then later on, I made a silly shot as well. How frustrating. How frustrating. Um We're almost there. We're almost there. We're definitely making some good shots now. We're definitely more in control. I think basically as we've unlocked the finesse shot, it's giving us a much, much better opportunity. All we have to do now is get close enough to be able to use it. So maybe I should put some points on power and leave everything else for now because I think we're pretty good on the most part. But, uh, yeah, the putting, do you know, I feel like if you upgrade your putting as much as the game recommends you do, um, our putting would have improved a lot. But we came so close to getting some long putts in there today. That was a really good one. Um, as in, you know, first round, second round, overall experience. It was a really good effort, but not good enough. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Goodbye for now.